Hello everybody, welcome back to Streamer Masterclass, the series on this channel where I answer any questions a streamer might have about streaming. Eventually, this is episode seven, so <laughs> we're chugging along, but if this is the first time you're finding this channel, this video right now, hit the subscribe button. If you're looking for more information like this, I'd really appreciate it. Today, if you couldn't tell from the title, we're talking about green screens, how to set them up, some cool creative ideas on how to use them. And if you couldn't tell, uh, I'm using a green screen right now. Probably could tell though, because I've got some flaws in my green screen. Not because I'm trying to teach you something special, but because I've got a three-year-old and a brand new two-week-old daughter. <laughs> So if you feel like congratulating me, just, you know, help me out, hit the like button and congratulate me in the comments because it's 2 a.m. This is the only time I could shoot this. <laughs> and to save you from making some of the same mistakes I'm making in my green screen right now, I'm going to tell you what they are. So you'll be a better green screener than myself today. How about that? But right now you can see I've got the Elgato Green Screen XL behind me. Elgato is not the sponsor of today's video. In fact, it's Best Buy, and there'll be more on that in just a little bit. A lot of people think the only reason to use green screens are to put yourself in a cool virtual room or to put yourself in front of your gameplay without any kind of background around you. And while yes, you can do those things, those are the most common applications of a green screen and streaming, there is a lot more you can do. I put some of those ideas together for you tonight so you can see them. And I I can show you how to make them things like this or even how to do this during your gameplay scene but still have a normal just chatting scene without a green screen behind you but that's enough of an intro i think i just enjoy talking to you a little bit too much let's get into this can i show you some really cool tech at my other desk real quick these are the logitech g astro a50x headphones and these headphones do something that no other gaming headphones do. Using the multiple ports on the back of the base station, you can connect an Xbox, a PlayStation, and a PC all at the same time, and then switch between them just by clicking a button on the back of your headset. Perfect for the gamers and streamers that use both console and PC, and also, want to get that premium audio experience using the Pro G Graphene audio drivers. Plus, all the HDMI ports are 2.1, so you can play 4K 120 hertz no problem. It has game and voice balance controls on the headset, so you decide what you want to hear more of. And it has Bluetooth connectivity, so you can answer calls or listen to a baby monitor in the background. Parent of the Year Award, looking at you. And when you're done gaming, just set it on the charging dock so it's ready to go next time you are. So use the link in the description and pick up the Astro A50X at Best Buy now. Thank you, Best Buy, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the masterclass. There are a handful of tricks to getting a perfect green screen, and if you don't do them, your green screen ends up looking like this. It's just not very convincing. You got green around the edges, you got some weird noisy areas, part of my chair is fuzzy and slightly transparent, but all of the problems with my green screen right now can be solved with three different techniques. Your green screen should be flat, your green screen should be well lit and your green screen should be a little bit further away from you. Let me turn on my light real quick. Oh, do you see how much that already fixed this? It's not perfect. We've still got some fuzzies on this side, but that's just because I don't have time to set up another light. But you can see at our main green screen setup, we've got two gigantic lights evenly lighting our entire setup because when we green screen, that background needs to be perfect. You'll also get a lot of people who ask, why would you spend $160 on a green screen like this one behind me when you can go to Walmart and spend $10 on a green sheet? And yes, you can do that and it will absolutely work on a budget. I did that for years. But the reason you go for a green screen like this is it's flat by design. A sheet's gonna have some waves, it's gonna get some ripples and some shadows and the shadowy areas are gonna be harder to green screen than the lit areas. And the third issue of being too close to your green screen is the reason I've got green and kind of some fuzziness in my hair. It's why the part of my chair is transparent. It's because the green is bouncing off the green screen and landing on the back of me and on my chair, which ends up making my chair look green and getting green screened out in the process. If I wanted to spend a little more time on my setup, I would adjust my camera angle so I have more room and I would push this about ah, three or four, maybe five feet further behind me. But now that you got some green screen principles out of the way, let's toss some stuff into OBS and start this from scratch. So here we are in OBS, we have one source and it's this camera and that's it. The first thing we need to do is remove this background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the camera, we're gonna go to filters and I know what you're thinking, oh, let's look for green screen. It's not gonna be called green screen. This is the green screen. The effect we're looking for is actually called chroma key. Let's click on that. 
And look at that, the green is gone, almost. Because we've got some areas that are a little bit brighter because they're closest to the light, some areas that are a little bit darker, furthest from the light, we've got to adjust for this. We've got to let OBS know exactly how much green to grab. Do we want a little bit more yellowy green? Probably for this spot here. So if we turn up the similarity, it's gonna let OBS know, let's get some colors a little bit further away from green. You can see as I drag that up, I only had to drag it up nine points and they're all already gone. I think I did a better job this time than I did last time. We still have a little bit of a green outline. And again, that's mostly because I'm too close to the green screen, but let's see if we can fix that with a little bit of smoothness. Uh, that's where we start to lose the chair. I do like that though. I don't have as much green on my face anymore. Kind of blurred some of my hair that's showing green through it. And if we still feel like there's a little bit of glow of green on us, we can reduce the color spill. And that's gonna kind of just suck green out of the image. We don't wanna do it too much because it's gonna make us look like a black and white image. See, like that. Let's maybe give it a, a tiny, tiny bit. All right. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with our Chroma King over here. It looks like what it's done is turn the green into black. What it's actually done is turn the green transparent. So if we put something behind it, wait for it. Like, let's grab this screenshot of gameplay of Apex Legends, throw it behind me here. Well, you can see we learned something here. We may have turned up one of those settings a little too high. We just couldn't tell when there was only a black background behind us. So let's go in, let's make some adjustments. There we go. Bring the similarity down one at a time. Bring the smoothness down a bit. That's a lot better. The remaining issues are still because I'm too close to the green screen and so there's green on me. From there, we're gonna hold Alt on our keyboard. We've done this before. We're gonna drag in from the side to crop ourselves, crop out the rest of my background here. You don't need to have your entire background green screened. Just enough to isolate yourself. And one little trick of the trade, by the way, um, if you want to green screen yourself, I don't suggest having your desk in the shot. That can, that can cause some problems, but they were unavoidable for me this time. I guess I could do this. There we go. And that could be my shot. Now look at that. If that's all you were here for, You've done it, congratulations. But we wanna go a little bit further. This is the classic green screen gameplay scene, but if we wanted to do something like this, I think you'd actually be surprised. This isn't that much harder. It's a couple more steps. Let me go into how I built this. So this is an overlay of about four different layers. I'm gonna turn them all off for you right now. I made these all in just a couple minutes with some illustration software on my computer. And I'm gonna move myself out of the way here real quick so you can see as I build this. The first layer is this red shape with a little bit of texture that I put on there. That's not super hard to do. The next layer is this border that I put over here. The next layer is an interesting one. It looks like it's just this corner, but it's also this entire bottom here. That way when I place myself in here, I'm gonna be behind this layer. That way I'm behind the bottom half, but I'm in front of the top half up here. Then I added a little animated graphic that I thought would be neat to show my most recent event, most recent donation or bit. So if someone subscribes, this would change to a little star thing. I'd probably use something like Adam to automate that. This would be the person who donated it, just a simple little overlay thing. But the kicker that I think really sells this is adding a drop shadow behind me. That I think is the main detail that makes this look really cool. Now a drop shadow is not something you can normally do inside of OBS. So I had to get a little bit creative here. Now there are a couple ways to do this, but the way I did it is I added a separate scene down here with just the camera in it. So I could have a second instance of my camera that I could put different effects on it. Of course, I green screened out the background like I did before. And then I brought it into here and I dragged it, if you can see, I dragged it behind myself. So I've got two of myself going right now. And then in the filters in here, I added color correction to make it black. I just dragged down the gamma and the brightness. And then I added some composite blur. And that is a third party plugin. I'll link to it down below. If you want to do this effect yourself, you will need to install composite blur. But by adding that little bit of a blur, it makes it look like a shadow. And then I just, like I did before, I just crop it in to make sure you don't see anything else that's in there. Crop out anything else so it's just the shadow of me and the microphone 
and everything else that's on the scene. And now I got this nice drop shadow behind me. I got some depth to it. So it really looks like I'm popping off this background. I got this 3D effect happening right now. It's really cool. I'd encourage you guys, if you want to do this effect, to make kind of your own overlay like this. But I know that can take some time. It's creativity. So in the meantime, if you want to use this one, I will put the files to what I did here. It'll be a Google Drive link or something in the description below. You can download these for yourself and you can use them. And because the background color is its own color, you should theoretically just be able to oh there we go look at that <laughs> just use the hue shift and color correction on it make it whatever color you want I didn't even realize that until I was doing this right now oh I like that teal that was an accident it's not even teal it's like aquamarine but the last thing I need to show you is how to get a scene like this for your gameplay while still having a scene like this for your chatting scene that looks like it's not green screen or at least it would if I did it properly and the answer if you haven't figured it out is actually pretty simple all you have to do is take some footage or a picture of your background footage is going to look a little bit more realistic and throw it behind your green screen make sure the camera angle is the exact same as your normal camera angle and Big one is make sure the focus is also the same. When I took this, I sat in front of it where I normally sit, I properly focused the camera, and then I stepped out of the frame so you get the exact background blur that you'd be looking for. Sometimes if you put it on autofocus, it'll just focus on the background. So then you're in focus, but also the background's in focus, and that's not what we want here. In fact, a little secret, if you want, you can also add extra background blur if you don't have a super fancy lens. Throw a little bit more blur on there. I get a real fancy looking lens, but be careful to make sure your desk is not in your main shot there. And also that you don't go overboard because then it looks fake. But this not only allows you to have both green screen and non green screen effects, this means that all you have to do is have your room clean for when you take the shots and then you can have a dirty room the rest of the time and it doesn't matter. This also means you can do some really cool stuff like add maybe yourself walking in the room and, and uh, waving to your audience or anything else you might want in the background. It just opens the door for some fun flexibility, maybe some creativity to happen here. By the way, my microphone's in a weird place, but that's because if I move it, <laughs> it misaligns with where it was when I took the background shot. It is now almost 3 a.m. So that is just, these. it is what it is. I don't even feel bad, but that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if this is the first video you're finding of me, make sure you hit the subscribe button, come back for more, hit the like button while you're down there and drop your favorite emoji in the comments just for some, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. engagement when I wake up in four hours for uh, my, my two-week-old. <laughs> I love you guys. Happy streaming. I'll see you in the next one.